Mid-morning on a weekday and Kiapo Church in the heart of Manila is still crowded with the faithful. Right outside the popular Catholic shrine, business of a more worldly nature also goes on as normal. Traders peddle less sacred answers to those with desperate prayers, some considered not just immoral here, but also illegal. This policeman goes after one such vendor caught selling prohibited prescription pills, ulcer medication that has been banned here for years because women use it to induce abortions. Wanting to hide her identity, Grace says she's never told her family that for years she set aside her own conscience to make money. I know it's a sin. You help someone kill their baby, so I don't do it anymore. But it made a big difference in earnings. Grace says she didn't go a day without buyers, even though the pills are sold with as much as a 300% markup. Hundreds of other vendors continue to sell them outside churches across the city. Health officials estimate that there are more than half a million illegal abortions performed here every year, most of them on married women. But there is also a large number of young unmarried women who would rather risk their lives than take on the responsibility of having a baby. 24-year-old Jenny is one of them. So as not to be ostracized by society, she says she has to hide her face to tell her story. Finding herself pregnant three years ago, she took drastic measures when the Kiapo pills failed to induce an abortion. It was a house. They asked me to lie down in the bed and they just started doing it. I was scared of um, infection. I was scared of bleeding. I was scared of scarring because um, you don't know if these people actually know what they're doing. But more than that is the fear of pushing through with the pregnancies. That a growing number of young women would take a similar gamble has health officials concerned, but they seem unable to do much to stop it. And legalizing abortion so it can be regulated is not an option. Mm -hmm. Our moral and ethical upbringing, our society, uh, doesn't uh, accept such uh, such uh, abortion. And so the cycle continues. The focus now to expand education and reproductive health, even in Kiapo Church. Officials hope that by bringing talk of sex and its risks into the open, fewer women will have to search in the shadows for solutions. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Manila.